this is not a simple time to be alive, you know? And I can talk about trees till the cows come home. And um, I, they are my greatest love along with the rest of the planet, frankly. Uh, but actually what I really wanna talk about is, is us. It's what it means to be human. Is the conundrum that we find ourselves in or the cauldron of alchemical potential that we find ourselves in. The, um, the reality that is what we have, whether you believe in it or not, I believe, chosen to be birthed into, chosen to be here for. And if you believe that you choose your time of birth, if you believe that we get to have some choice in that, then you might also believe that there would be a reason that you have chosen to be here at what is probably the greatest turning point for humanity, where we get to crash or we get to leap. It's gonna be one or the other. And we don't know. If you know the science, it looks like we're gonna crash. If you really understand that we have no idea what a human being actually is, then there's a distinct possibility that we could leap. If you don't believe that we were, that you know, that you get to choose your point of birth, then, well, you're here anyway. So what are you gonna do with it? So to me, there is just, there's one choice right now, and that is to turn into the skid, to turn into everything that's coming, or to turn your back on it and to miss the greatest opportunity for shared evolution that we've ever offered ourselves. And, you know, I, like I think probably everybody else here, has, has decided to do the turn into the skid version of events because let's face it, turning your back to this is not empowering. It's not empowering. It's destabilizing, it's frightening, it's like an abdication of responsibility. You know, if there's a tsunami bearing down on you, don't you wanna see? Don't you wanna know what's coming? Don't you wanna have some, some sense of capacity to take some action? And more than that, more than just taking action, don't you wanna discover who you are? You know, don't we all want to know who we are, what we're made of, don't we want to have the most meaningful incarnations we could possibly give it? You know, you hear people talk about, oh, there's souls queuing up to get onto planet Earth. You know, it's, this is like, this is where it's all happening. And meanwhile, we've got so many people here going, oh my God, I just want to get off the planet. You know, I just, I don't want to be here. I want to be as far, you know, like, let's see how many incredibly wealthy people are trying to figure out how to trash this planet and then get onto another one. Like, God damn it, this planet of ours is so miraculously extraordinarily beautiful and we're part of that you know it's it's very easy to forget that we're made of the same rain that has been raining in this world for hundreds of thousands of millions of years you know the water that is in your veins was in the dinosaurs you know has passed through god knows how many trees been rained and rivered and rained and rivered and rained and rivered and now it's now it's in the river of you you know we aren't separate from this planet. We're made of this planet. It's just we happen to also be made of stardust. We happen also to be made of sunlight. We happen also to be made with a cosmic breath of some description that is part of all that is. You know, in this moment, you are being kissed all over by a sky that has no limit, but vast intelligence. So then what's the possibility of humanity the a limitless cosmos worth of intelligence is available for this little bit of planet that's walking around trying to wake up to who or what it is. You know, is the cosmos and the sky going to just go out on shopping? Is that, is, that the, is that the game we're playing? Do we think that limitless intelligence merged with Gaia and her absolute magnificence is just going to throw us off away because she can't be bothered to wake up to the miracle of life? You know? We're doing a really good rendition of that, but I just don't buy it because I think inside every one of us is extraordinariness waiting for us to realize that that's what's here. And it's frightening. It's frightening because we've been taught that we're less than, we've been taught to give our power away, we've been taught that we're not sovereign, we've been taught that a, that a culture that is wiping out its own life support machine is a sane culture and it's not. So we're living in an insane mindset that has created fundamental separation from all that is, and we're being told that that's normal. 
And, and any form of breaking out of what is normal feels incredibly weird in your body because we're being cultured and conditioned to a certain way of being. But that way that we've been conditioned is fractured. It's a lie. We're not here to destroy ourselves. We're here to love ourselves and each other into the fullest expression of what a human being is. And we have no idea what that even means. And that's why I've got hope. There are indigenous people on this planet who know how to put crystal in the ground and create water, who know how to work with the weather, who know how to go to Fukushima and do prayer and reduce radioactivity. They are much closer to understanding what a human being is because they are in dynamic relationship with nature, which is their nature. Human nature is nature. And if we log on to nature rather than just logging on to the bloody internet, we can log on to the real internet, which is actual creation, then we will find that we have no edges. There is nowhere where you end and nature begins because there's only one being here and it is a being full of light and intelligence. And if we can open our minds and our bodies and our nervous systems enough with enough humility to let life as it really is pour in, pour in till we're on our knees in humility before the miraculousness of creation, then you get to be broken open broken open through the conundrum that we have created for ourselves, broken open through fear and shock and all the rest of the stuff that you naturally feel when you feel powerless and when a tsunami is breaking on you. But then if you can open your arms and say, do me, come on, we've created this. We've created this for our own evolution. Then what are we going to do? Pretend it's not happening or are we going to let it rip us open beyond all the limitations that are nothing to do with who we are so that we can find that immensity, that love, that meaning, that passion, that grief, that rage, that ecstatic nature that is nature. You don't see a tree going, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so beautiful. Oh, I'm just gonna strip. Oh, I'm too much. Oh, I'm too little. You know, nature doesn't do this weird thing that we do with ourselves. It just gives itself completely. That to me is the moment that we have created for ourselves. We've created a moment of absolute radical possibility for ourselves, where if we're willing to fully feel and fully face everything that we have created for ourselves, these are the circumstances for our own transcendence. Because we are life and life wants us to wake up. Because we are nature and nature is not here to self combust because we are extraordinary potential we are a living cosmos inhabited in this little bit of gaia which is billions of years worth of wisdom and experience and experimentation and here's humanity standing there sky meeting earth with all of that inside us and in our so-called junk dna the DNA of every living species on this planet. We are a walking activation of nature consciousness waiting to happen. So I believe I had seven minutes and that's probably it. So I'll just end by saying, what are we here for? If you incarnated right now, whether you think it was a choice or not, you're here for the greatest turning this species is ever gonna have probably either for profound waking up or the deepest level of regret we could possibly imagine when we say, sorry, guys, to our children, go face a child. Say, sorry, I just couldn't be bothered to try. I didn't want to know who I actually was. I, th I threw in the towel when it all looked too difficult. Or you just go, hell yes, bring it on. Here we are. This is what I've created for myself. This is what I want. I want to wake up. I want to know who I am. I want to know what's possible. I want to know what everybody is capable of through radical shared responsibility and humility before the magnificence of what a human being is, which we can discover if we're willing to drop what we've been taught we are because it's nothing to do with what a human being actually is. This is not us. And there we have it. Mwah.